Hello everyone, I'm Paul and welcome to Gelin Outdoors. Today, as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm going to weigh the logs that I cut from the big pine tree. So what I have is I've got three pieces. They're going to be eight foot each and there are different diameters. I'm going to weigh them from the smallest to the largest. I'm using a Toledo scale. It goes up to a thousand pounds. I know one of the logs is definitely over a thousand pounds or it should be. Um, what I want to do is I want to compare my scale to the log calculator online and we'll look at the log calculator online and I'll give you the reasons why I use the scale and why I use the online calculator. So if we take a look at the first log, this is the smallest one, I've got it on the scale already. I've got weights, you can see here I've, I have two adjustments, one I can put a weight, I have various size weights ranging from 100 pounds to 500 pounds. So I'm going to put the 500 pound one on here, I already did that and it's balancing here for this particular log. If I want to go up to 600 pounds, I have this little weight in here. I can slide along as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this log off and we'll get the next log on. I'll take the 500 pounds off for now. Um, the logs, as I mentioned, they have different diameters. I'll show you that here in a second. So if we look over here on the logs, I've already marked them. This is a 24 inch diameter and a 27 inch and a half inch diameter. Now basically that's the diameter average going from this side of the log. This is the larger side of the log to the smaller side. This log actually is 29 inches here on this side and I think it's 26 on or yeah 26 on the other side. So it gives me my 27 and a half. That's basically how I do it, just to get a better number or something more accurate. So let's get the log off and get the next one on. Guys, as you can see there, it's very hard to put a big log onto a small little scale here. It, uh, especially when it's not tapered nice and symmetrically. This here has got a really big end here, smaller end here, and those big knots make it very hard to grapple it. Anyways, let's see what this one's weighing in at. We'll come here on this side here, grab my weights that I knocked out. Go on the other side here, you can see the weights. This one here, I know it's going to be closer to a thousand pounds, or at least I expect it to be. So we'll put a 500 pounder on it, and then we'll add another 440 pounds, so it's 990 pounds, and we're still not there. It's at 990. Ok, 
Okay, if you come on the other side of the scale here, you can see the pounds. Or well, actually, I should say not 990, 9, 940. Plus whatever I'm going to adjust it here. It's just about, it comes down. So we're sitting, it wants to come down here. So we're sitting at about a thousand pounds on that log. So I've got 940 plus another 100. So 10, 1040 for this log here. As you can see here, this log grappled much easier. It didn't have those big knots. The other one, what was happening, I was putting all the pressure on the on the grapple, but it just kept on slipping, and I'm sure it's because of the big knots on that other log. This one went on quite a bit easier. I picked it up a lot easier. Uh, it's just because of the way it's designed. We'll put some weights on just for the fun of it. So we'll put 500 on there. Another 440 pounds here. Lots of exercise to drop all my weights. Oh, another five or another 220 and it went down. That's good. It's too heavy now. Let's crack back that off a bit. Let's just put a hundred on. So now I've got a uh, thousand and forty, and we'll bring the scale here. Oh, so it looks like a thousand and forty plus another seventy pounds. So that's uh, eleven hundred and ten pounds on this log here. So. A little heavier so we're going to check the weights against the uh, online calculator so i just want to double check that i uh, weighed this or calculated this correctly it's 500 plus five, 440 so it's 940 plus 100 1040 plus 70 so 1110 pounds all right guys let's see if i can get this log off a lot easier than i did the last one
All right, guys, if you come on down here, you can see that this, this log is a bigger log. It came off much easier and it has to do with the shape of the log. The other one just has too many knots and it was extremely hard to grapple. The grapple would just slip all the time when I'm applying the pressure. So anyways, um, one thing I had done is, and you can see earlier, I will post it up here. You'll see, I actually did a calibration on my scale with, with some weights, uh, barbell set that I have that I use. So anyways, let's go inside now and check out the um, weights online and we'll compare the difference from what I got out here and what I'm going to get inside. I'll show you the, we'll also check out the wood volume as well as the weight. So let's go and do that. Okay guys, we're inside now. So let's take a look at the log weight calculator online. So we just Google that. And the one I always use here is this log weight calculator at WoodWeb. I like this one and I'll tell you why in a couple of minutes here. So on the calculator, you can see there's some parameters that you have to enter. And just down below here, you'll have some instructions tell you the diameter for the large end, the small end, and the length, and so on. Now, what I always do is I always use an average, as you notice uh, I mentioned earlier, instead of using a small and a large end. <clears throat> I find that works really well for me. So the species of the uh, tree that I did cut here is a white pine. Actually, I just entered pine first, I think. So eastern white, and the small end diameter was 18 inches on the smallest log. And as I mentioned, the large end will be 18 as well. And the logs are all eight feet long, so. And I do a calculation. And you can see here, it tells me a species diameter, so on and so forth, and it tells me a weight estimated at 527 pounds. So that's the small log. Let's go on to the, uh, the bigger logs. We'll, again, we've got to enter our species. Well, eastern white pine, and the second largest one was 24 inches at the small and the large. Basically, I, again, I'm just averaging them. That's why I prefer to do it. Eight foot long log, calculate. And as you can see here, we get a new weight of 934 pounds for the second log. Now, what I mentioned why I like this calculator here is because what it does, it does a summation. You have know, a subtotal of the total weight of the two logs. And to me, that's very important because when I'm loading onto a trailer or someone's come and pick up some logs that I have a good idea how much the total volume is. So we'll do the third log. Again, uh, pine, eastern white, and it's 27 inches for this one. We'll do both for the each diameter. Mm -hmm. And eight feet long, and we'll do a calculation now. So we can see here our species White pine, small end, 27, large end, 27 are all our parameters that we enter. And we have a weight of 1184. So it gives us a total weight of 2645. So if I'm out in the bush and I have a small trailer, which is actually, I do have a small logging trailer, it's, it has a max weight of 2,500 pounds. Here I've got 2645. That's putting a little too much wood onto the trailer. So I would probably just put the two larger logs on and, or a combination, large and small and then haul them away and do a second trip. So that gives us that. So what I want to do is I want to show you the differences between the estimated totals by the calculator and what I actually weighed outside. And what I've done is I've prepared a spreadsheet here in Excel. I've got the small end diameters in the large end and then all the other information. Here's the estimated weight of the calculator. I'll just blow this a little bit bigger. Whoops, go bigger instead of smaller. So the estimated weight is 527 and you can see the difference total uh, the Toledo scale that I use is 500 pounds so a difference of 27 and again you can see the difference between the second log and the third log difference what's very interesting here is um, the total weight of my using my Toledo scale of those logs is 2650 pounds and the total weight of the calculator estimation is 2645 so it's only a difference of five pounds so very happy with the calculator and using the scale. Either I can go either way. Basically, I'm going to get a good summation of all the uh, wood capacity that I can put on a trailer, or I can lift with my tractor. I'll know basically based on the size of the log. One other thing I want to show you here is to go back to the internet, and that's log volume. So again, the WoodWeb has a log volume. Do do a search on log volume calculator, 
and we go wood web here and it does the same kind of thing it does a summation of the calculator down below again you have some instructions and it tells you different types of um, things that you for the parameters that you're going to enter one thing that's important here is measuring logs and lumber so down here we just clicked on that link and if we come down here it gives you the a few different types of scales so there's an international scale here there's a scribner and the Doyle scale. Now there's a whole bunch of different other types of scales that can be used, but these are basically the scales that this calculator actually uses. You could have a local you could have a local scale, you can have a provincial scale, you can have whatever type of scale or even a local sawmill scale might be a slightly different. So anyways, what we're going to do is do a volume on one of the logs. We'll do the 24 inch. Now when you're doing the volume, basically you're going to be inside the bar. So I basically going to do, I'll use 25 inches for example for the larger log which had a roughly a 27 inch diameter and we won't put in any fractions you can put like a half or three eighths or whatever you want in there now the log is eight feet long and we'll just leave it right at that so we'll do we'll select our log scale this one here I'll select the doyle and do a calculation and you can see here it tells me how many board feet based on a 25 inch diameter I'll just bring this up and make this a little bit bigger if I can so bring this down a bit so you can see your 20 220 board feet now if I was to do the same thing with another scale 25 and 8 feet and we we'll do the international scale you'll see that basically we have 224 feet and now if we do the actual Scribner scale 25 8 feet we we'll do a calculation on that you can basically see it's pretty much giving me the same number 220 feet uh, board feet so that's pretty good um, the scales are pretty close but once you get a little bit larger for example if I go 25 and my log is 16 feet long and I use the doyle for example and I calculate you'll see down here for a 16 foot log it's 441 but watch what happens when I change the scale so I'll go 8 feet here again, oh sorry, 16 feet, we'll put 16 feet in there, we'll go international, we'll do a calculation, and you'll see here is 460 feet for international and 441, so there is going to be a slight marginal difference between the scales. The larger the log is, the bigger the difference is going to be. Well guys, I hope you got something out of this video. Um, if you have, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, you can do so by hitting that subscribe button down below. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Jelly Outdoors.